Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, as you already know, NBA free agency is today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you some live updates of what's happening right now in free agency. Tell you what I think of every deal that's happened and see how it's gonna affect that team. And I'll try to do this every single day so y'all can get the updates and see what's happening in the association. So hey, let's begin. And for more content like this, make sure to like this video. We already, you already see the first one. So Jonas Valanciunas is going to Washington. Three season New Orleans, he set up for a three year, $30 million deal with the Wizards. Um, this does nothing. I mean, he's, I guess he's just trying to get his, you know, his dough, $10 million. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know why he would pick the Wizards. That's such a terrible team to go to. I mean, like, you know, like he just, I don't know if that's a lot of money for him. I don't know how much money he was making in New Orleans, but that's a very insignificant move that I don't see will do anything in life. Chris Paul agrees to deal with Spurs after release from Warriors. So as you know, Chris Paul has the worst plot in the history of basketball. Like his his luck is ridiculously bad. Mauricio, who's on the podcast, diehard Spurs fan, he hates Chris Paul. So hey, I told you, you know, you keep talking, things gonna happen bad against you. But Chris Paul, he's on the Spurs. You know, some good veteran leadership. A team needs veteran leadership. Chris Paul is washed. Like he's not gonna help you win a playoff series, but he's gonna give you some really good leadership and definitely. You know, can help the development of the young guards on the team so they can, you know, learn how to give the ball to their generational talent. So um, I'd give that, you know, valid tunis to the Wizards like a D to me, but this is like a B plus. Give us a B plus. Clippers release statement on Paul George. They part in ways while a significant gap contract talks. Yeah, that, that, that duo, Kawhi and Paul George, did absolutely nothing. Pistons agreed a max contract with Cade, 226. Yeah, I mean, they, they don't know who else to pay. Stay six front runner for Paul George. Oh, there you go. Let's go. So KCP headed to Orlando. How many seasons? Two seasons in Denver. Denver lost a really key player. Like, you know, like this is like he is important to them. That is, that really cripples and that helps Orlando. This is a decent move for Orlando. Like Orlando needed some shooting. This guy has veteran leadership. He was a champion. Like that's definitely a pretty solid pickup. The Eastern Conference, in my opinion, is pretty open. The Celtics are obviously the top dog, but you know you can definitely be a three seed or a four seed. I mean, they were the five seed, but you could be a more formidable four seed or a three seed in the East if you you know count your chips right, Orlando. So I guess A minus. Actually, now I'm just giving it an A. I thought this is an A move. This is a this is a good move. This is a thing that can definitely push you in the right direction. I don't know why this is. I don't know why this even exists. I don't even know. Look, I'm going to tell you, I, I can't say too much about this guy disappointed me so much. I mean, this guy had like a lottery ticket. Like he had the, he was in the NBA. He got a second chance with the Rockets and he had a beautiful woman on his side. And this man, I don't know. This man did something crazy, man. I, I, I didn't think he'd get another chance in the NBA. Maybe, I don't know if it was allegations, right? It was alleged. I know, um, he pleaded guilty in January to misdemeanor assault and harassment, a deal that kept him out of jail. She's part of leaving his girlfriend Blade with a deep kind of face and account that she has since denied. <sighs> she denied it, which is so unfortunate. Yeah, he. Uh, you an NBA player, man. You get you get you get a third chance. I don't know if you ever should get a chance ever again. NBA is a privilege, and the fact he did that, even just being in the situation, or even allegedly doing that, is. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. That's the end slash A. I'm not even gonna great that deal Andre Drummond to the 76ers this is Andre Drummond on the you know Andre Drummond is playing for the Bulls huh like he looks washed like on the Bulls he don't even look like Andre Drummond he looked like he was doing nothing for that team I'm not gonna lie to you he probably was doing pretty decent but this I don't know why this is just this this doesn't look good like he needs to be I don't know 76ers back up big for Joel Embiid um decent signing I give it like a C C plus don't know who you are, my man. Bulls offered Zach Levine, Randrew Wiggins, and Chris Paul, but Warriors said no. Too many light skins on the team. They can't have that many light skins. Um, Russell Westbrook is not on the move. He's going to the Clippers. Nicholas and Batula not returning to Philadelphia. Clay Thompson. Kevin Love's two-year, $8 million deal to go to Miami. I mean, stay in Miami. That's cool. Um, well, you know, actually, Russell Westbrook, I actually don't know because I think what Denver is interested in him, right? If Denver, why would you take that, though? I don't I don't see that how that helps you. I think honestly, if I'm him, I just stay on the Clippers or go to the Thunder or something like. He look, he look, feel good for the Clippers. The Clippers, a team that like they, they value him. They, it feels like he's more respected on the Clippers. On the Lakers, he was, just like he. I know his confidence. He he has a lot of confidence, but I know his mental wasn't good. But the Clippers seem like they value him a lot. So I don't know why he would leave. Just stay on the Clippers. 
Um, yeah, Clay Thompson. So he's suiting the Mavericks, the Lakers, the Clippers, and the 76ers. I want to go to the Clippers. They got no plot. Uh, the Mavericks is a pretty decent spot to go to if you're Clay Thompson. 76ers, I mean, he'd be a great pickup, but like, they have no plot. Joel Embiid's injuries. I'd pick, if I'm, if I'm Clay Thompson, bro, I'd pick. I'd pick the Lakers. I, I think KCP's probably what, you know, the, the Magic's Clay Thompson type of thing, right? That's who they were going to, you know, Z to Clay or KCP, they picked him. Um, you can pick the Mavericks. I think the Lakers, I feel like well, his dad played for LA, right? Just, I, I don't know. I, I feel like that's more fun. But at the same time, if you start missing threes, they might cook you. So maybe the Mavericks might be the best shot. Maybe you should go to Dallas. I think you should probably go to Dallas, actually. Because you start missing threes, they, they, they're, not, they're not friendly. Um, James Harden is returning to the Clippers. Yeah, he's not trying to win. Um... I know a lot of Lakers fans were excited, like, man, we're gonna get this James Harden, man. We're gonna him and AD gonna be so good together. Oh my gosh, I get to. Nah, he's a f that. I'm trying to get what's two years, seventy million. That's what it's thirty five million dollars a year, huh? Shot a tour date in that last in that game six. They gonna, I don't know. Hey, they gonna, they gotta keep their guys because they got a new stadium. But bro, you're not gonna win nothing to tell you that. Um, so anything else that happened? So yeah, so that is essentially all of the relevant news that happened so far in NBA free agency. I'm gonna refresh this just to see if some breaking, something crazy happened. Just wanna make sure, just always get to make sure nothing crazy has happened. Yeah, so nothing has updated. I wonder what's the top 40 players. See the big board here, let me just see the big board. So really quickly before I go, I just wanna see who's best available. So obviously he's not gonna be available. He's not gonna be available, he may be available. Oh no, he's not, he's already agreed. He's available, so Paul George is the best. DeMar DeRozan, he's not available. I don't think he's available. He's not available. He is available. No, I think they're trading him. Interesting. I don't know if he's available. So, okay, so it's not a crazy free agency class. I think Clay Thompson, Clay Thompson, Paul George, DeMar DeRozan, those are the guys that can make a difference. So, you know, we'll see where those guys go. We'll see uh, what their new home is. But hey, I'm going to do these every day, see what relevant news happens. And hey, you'll hear from me or you'll hear from Woj, probably Woj first, but I'll be here to tell you what I think. Um, best move, KCP to the Magic. That's the best move of the of the day so far. We'll see if anything beats that. But hey, for more content like this, free agency updates, NBA content, make sure to like this video. We already hit a thousand subscribers, so just keep on keeping on. Love, definitely, definitely appreciate the support. And I guess it's the road to 2,000 now. So uh, let's keep it pumping. And I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video, and I'm out of here. Peace.